Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to episode number four of Hacknet. And um, pretty sure we are not too far from the exit. Um, no stream yesterday, as it was public holiday here in the UK. And this may be um, my last stream for a while, assuming we. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, last one for a while, assuming that we um, wind things up. The reason I'm a little bit earlier errand than at normal is because I'm kind of like working on something. I've been waiting for something to happen. So um, as soon as somebody sends me a uh, network path on a network, I can actually carry on. So I thought, well, while I'm just hanging around, I might as well just start um, streaming that little bit earlier. But what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Uh, right, so I want the contract server, don't I? So yeah, this could be the last stream for a while. Um, I need to get back onto recording portal videos. Um, check out a suspicious server. Security looks a bit tighter than I managed to test it, but someone here might want to check it out. Yeah, if I wrap it up. I hope I wrap it up. I need to get recording in Portal again. Uh, don't know if you'll find anything here, but I thought you might want to check it out. I ran into this server with some scanning software. It's got a trace on it. So I didn't poke around too much, but someone more experienced might want to give it a look. Let me know if you find anything or if it's super secure or something. CCC hack squad. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, as your current IP is known, it must be changed. This can only be done on your current active IP's routing system. Reverse trace routing has located this IP server as... Wow. That was crazy. Um, holy shit, what am I meant to be doing? IP, how do I change my IP? Connect to uh, 68.144. Search for an IP. Probe, Webworm 80, SSH 22, SQL 14233. Come on. Well, I guess I've got to change my IP within the time limit. <clears throat> uh, 208.42. Oh, shit. .90.38. Sign new IP. Maybe. There we go. Whew. We got ourselves a new IP. That was pretty hairy. That was pretty hairy. By the way, you have to restart your PC to assign a new IP, though. Holy shit balls! Okay, so how on earth? What on earth are you meant to do there? Jeez, I have no idea. Contract successful. <laughs> Flagged your account with permission to accept cr critical contract. 
This is listed the sec as a listing page. Be aware that accepting a contract may be either time consuming or require comment. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, apparently I passed it, so that's weird. Huh. Well, I ain't going back there, that's for sure. Wipe clean an academic record. Uh, underpaying journey and force money saving. Uh, would like his academic wipe clean removed as part of a side project to correct something. All right, so wipe clean the record. There's our inf. Remember to clear your tracks. It's academic strip clean of all degrees. All right. All right, so. All right. And. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Jacob Stevens is the person we are looking for. Let's do a little looky dance. All right, search entries. Who are we looking for? Jacob. Uh, edit. Edit. No degree found. Excellent. Uh, hold on. We need to do... The June book contract? Righto. We are now 19 out of 100. What? We went down? I thought we was 10. Uh, hmm. Oh well. Project Juneberg. It's come up with kind of involvement of a skilled anonymous outside agent willing to responsible willing to be responsible for some questionable actions to greatly help an individual in need. All right. Normal request, and we're not taking, we're going to treat it as such. We've been asked to perform an euthanization. Obviously, we've sent out a few others to dig around data on it. Uh, some time ago, largely speaking, it's come back all clear. It seems the man in question, one Elliot Witt, is hospitalized in considerable pain and against his wishes has been denied the option of death. Failed attempt by his family earlier has prevented from them from performing subsequent efforts until a member proposed this option. It seems the piece, the pacemaker he ha is fitted with allows remote access. Oh my goodness! If I got to kill somebody remotely, wow! Naturally, given the nature of this request, we can we can accept that you may not want to be involved. Reply with deny in your response, and we will remove you from the project. If you do decide to help us with this matter, you should know that it will likely take some amount of investigation and testing, given that. As far as we know, this has never been attempted. We recommend starting with the target's medical record, identifying the chip, looking for its manufacturers, and going from there. Holy crap. All right. Let's do this. We proxies. Ah, uh, well. Uh. What? Oh. Ha. 
Haha, <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I think I know why that did that. Because I've changed my IP, I've been logged out of everything. Clever. No, nope, don't want that. Medicate. Uh, Good job I'm not like. It's a good job I'm not um, on the time limit there. All right. I haven't uploaded uh, episode three, so I apologise for that. Anybody that there was a delay in uploading that, I'll try and remember to get that done later on today. So, we're searching for Elliot. Hmm. How about Wit? Uh, okay, so. Pacemaker connection ID. Documentation and notes ID. Okay, so we have the IP, which is 202.6.141.219. And then we have docs, which is on 66.96.147.84. Okay. That's pretty much all I need. Okay. Um, we'll connect to sixty-six ninety-six one four seven eighty-four. Pacemaker remote tools. Interesting. So let's get admin access first. I bio bio gel. Okay. Alright, you know what? Disconnect. Let's reconnect. Solve. Oh, file was already solved. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I still don't understand that in a way. I suppose once you've got admin access. Okay. 
Log. Shit. Walk through. Grocery simulator. Full work through. No, thank you. Message board. Let's read on here actually. Nothing on there. Designed high risk. Place where I can connect to remotely provide observer real time ECG. Updates journey. Uh, If your case requires such an update, contact your assigned biotech representative for assistance and budgeting. Do I need to email support? Hmm. Clearing security to perform firmware update once signed binary has been retrieved from the software. Developers require several steps. First, connect to pacemaker chip using the patient's reference IP address. Log in as an administrator using details that will have been assigned on a per case basis by the client. The step is protected using proprietary MitraPort protection system port 6652. Make a note. Uh, to form update secondary software login must be performed using an authorized software manufacturer authentication code. While both details confirmed, an update can be uploaded and activated on the chip, which will automatically soft reset. There's another one to scan there. Uh, firmware for the 2.44 chip was written by Idolon Soft version control. Queries and updates handled through their control server located at here. One 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 zero five twenty two dot one. As only build signed by their internal services using our key will run on the chips. No other company can produce working code for the chips without having them compile it. Uh, and then there's that there. Config this in this forage critical file system. Do not delete or rename it. Doing so will crash the board and bring the host program down. Change the config. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. Let's clear all this. And then we'll check out what's going on on this IP. Over here. Nice that they're using the same password. So, let's have a look.
how I can't finish it today, you mean? Uh, utility made for testing and stressing the medical standards port 104. Medical standards port. This tool can be deployed with a hardware package on request to test the device under security and it's desired to flood the port with traffic. Okay, so it's another hacking tool. Okay, excellent. And that's pretty much all I want from here. Okay, so now we're going to go to 111105.22.1. Hacking, hacking, hacking. So I don't think I'm going to finish it today, Erend. Interesting. All right. Of any games, I always like seeing hex codes and things, binary codes, projects. Spy my test cycle running the unit test suite on a chip. A cycle check needs to be formed. Hook it up to the test station and run the cycler as its firmware first. This just cycles through all the valid outputs and times itself to check that hitting correct time is correctly. More of a hardware test than anything on our end, but it's helpful after it's run. It'll then dump its data to the station and you can go ahead and flash it and patch it in your new test version. Current signed testing firmware listed pacemaker firmware cycle test DLL. Do not upload it to any de deploy a ready device. Obviously the test cycle firmware is signed and encoded so it'll actually run on chips, which means be careful with disturbing distributing builds so you don't include all right. So let's do um, driver config. Oh let's read that again. As discussed in recent meetings, the support teams well, Yeah, kill the guy basically. Um these work access system This account will be set up with full privileges and testing functions enabled and constant across our range and versions. What this means for support teams is that they will have an easy means of gaining access and debug admin functionality on test products in the field. And for our development managers, you'll need to remember to add this account to set up scripts for ongoing projects. All right, so EA, EA admin, and it's tens eighty six, and it's got everything on and on. Okay, is that all I need then? Do I need some of the firmware? I don't know. Let's take the latest one. C 
So let's, I guess let's see if we can. So we can admin login with Oh, what was the name of that program? Shies. KBT port test. And this takes a long ass time. All files and files will be detected by the place because someone can be nominated in the UI as a f firmware patch if it detects that the file is correctly signed. If you wish to remotely patch the chip, upload the file to this folder using upload local file path. So I've got, it's got 1.2 installed. I think I might need to go back and do some reading because I can't remember what it said to do. Tell me, Aaron. Jeez. Calm down. Calm down. That's what I said to do, right? Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, so then I want to do... Alright, so then I want to do... MV... To... I thought you were telling. Sorry, I apologize. Oh, 
Hold on. May have made a bit of a hash of this. Okay, so then I'm going to do... Um, I want to make sure everything's like right. Now, move it to move it to Oh, hold on. Hold on. folder. Alright, so I'm going to do to KBT firmware version 1.2.2 DLL Could you imagine if this was actually a thing?
Um, wasn't me. I wasn't here. I didn't do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's some messed up stuff. So, this is a bit unorthodox, but I pulled some strings. You'll be the one that did the bit contract before. Looking for what looking for what happened there. I'm after some information and I wanted the same person on it. If you're getting this, it means you've just finished your assigned contract, so we're good to go. To be frank, the term pulling strings with CS CSEC isn't something you really use lightly. And in this case, it's even more so. You got results fast. And I want you on this case too. More collaboratively, collaboratively this time. If I sound confident, you'll want to join in the here. I, well, I've got a reason for it. Sorry, my, talking is, my speaking is terrible. There's a very substantial incentive waiting for you on the CSEC asset server. Look for trace kill. Decrypt it with that password. Uh, DX1, case sensitive. DX122 DX. Uh, get a copy and reply back. Run me back. As always, the admins are just paranoid about the security, so it'll be enormously routed back through their system to me. Uh, right, okay. Hey, we're now nine. Excellent. Uh, file system. Bin. Right. Trace kill, as the name suggests, diverts an active trace against you, against you while it's running. It should make your work much easier. Let's begin. I've done some digging after the last set. You saw that message too. He knew what he was, what was going on. Anyway, just the idea that whatever happened was linked to his work was enough to start with. I did some tracing and end up with a bit of a list of servers or relays can't know how many of them are just virtual boxes running off the same machine, but it's a good start. The most promising one is linked at the end of this. It's personal work server, something he was using to privately host copies of versions, version control repositories he was working on, apparently. This itself might be a clue. Who keeps the backups of the corporate VC solution? Only three cases I can think of. Either you're responsible if they fuck it up, and you're surrounded by incompetence, and you want to be sure. You need your backups and logs for legal reasons, or you're just worried about something. I want records in case something goes down. Whatever the case, this seems like the place to start digging. <laughs> want to take a look? I've had a poke around, but didn't turn up anything substantial. Can't decrypt the repo dumps. Let me know if you find anything. Send over the IP address of anything strange if you dig up a link. All right. Looks like we're going down the rabbit hole once more. Oh, I'm not admin. That's fine. Um, Do I not download that? What? Oh, so have I missed something? Was there something else on the asset server that I missed? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I need to do
Far not found. Trace. Where was it? Trace kill. What? What am I missing? That's it. Home uh, trace killer dot DC and the password was D X one two two Doing it wrong. Run it from here. Whoopsie. Okay, so to Excellent. Right. Let's begin, shall we? So what was the... This one. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, bypassed the proxy. Uh, I didn't know. Oh, but I need to do everything else first. Gotcha. Okay.
All right, so, excellent. Um, SCP, HN. Nothing else in here. So. Don't know where that is, so can we do... Um, One five six one five one fifty nine dot thirty five. Volability in what? Oh my goodness, look at all that. Yeah, all right, so we should be going back with this to do then. With this IP, 156.151.59.35. There you go. I don't know about ever seen anything like this. Bit of it's cool and breakable, but this is different. Hmm. Mm tech. They make what a pretty mediocre antivirus. If you're selling it, whatever. Uh, uh, hey, look, the front page, the front end stuff doesn't have anything like this fancy. I'm going to get digging around for the web server. See at what point to get deep enough to try to hide for some reason. No idea. It looks like it's huge hassle. This behind coming to other stuff. So uh, this is suspicious. Hell, take a look on your end and see how far you can get in here. I don't know if it's just me, but this feels like a way better lead than I was even hoping for. Pee me back when you think you've seen as much as can be. Be thorough. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. One, nine, six, two, three, eight, one, seven, two, one, one, eight. Uh, one five six one five one zero dot zero. One. How can I have a zero dot zero? One five one fifty nine dot eighty two. All right, Let's start off with their mail server. One five six dot one five one dot fifty nine dot eighty two. Let's mark these up as core and Zeus. That's male.
All right, well, I'm not getting in the mail server. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's workstations everywhere. Connect to 156.151.0.10. Can't get in there. Uh, right, which one was I on? This one. W zero oh one W zero R two O zero Okay Got a DC from there. All right, let's try this again. Was the there we go. That's the best thing I I think to do is when you're under pressure for trying to solve um, the firewall is find out what the password is, disconnect and restart the timer. I don't know, it, it's a bit cheaty. I, I don't know. 
Put me under it here, though. It's going to be tight. Probably not as tight as before, though. Right. To keep the stream on your desktop open, we discussed save copy locally. The operator of that is Mr. Giuliani. Is serious heart condition software to help him monitor it. Seeing stream status to his workstation. And exceptional efforts to help Mr. Find a place here at the workplace diversity. Blah blah blah. blah. Prometheus. One five six, one five one, one dot one, and one dot twelve. Prometheus and Romulus. <sighs> Man, this is like a proper rabbit hole. This is, isn't it? Prometheus. I guess that's going to be a password. D eight eight B A M N X It's getting a little bit weird right now, I'll be honest. I feel like it's getting a little bit weird. But it's good. It's um, all about being ob observation skills. Yeah, all about the observation skills. Um... Okay, so we've been here, we've been here. Have we been to Zeus? 196.238.172.118. Right, we can't get on there, it's fine. Can we get on Prometheus? Can we get on Romulus? Did I write that down wrong, I guess? Crap. Was it 12? 156.151. One, Cheers, Errand. Uh, all right, well, that's off anyway. So I think we've pretty much done everything we can do here for now. Hmm. So I've missed something. I have missed something. Oh, that's right, no worries, don't worry. Uh, I can't. I can't connect to Prometheus or Romulus because it's got that weird thing.
Maybe I missed somebody's password. Ah, good call. Good call. Where are you at, Prometheus? S two eight F five A Okay. Um, well, um, I'm not sure is my honest opinion. I mean, the only thing we can do Did I not? Did I not write down the password of this? This was like something really weird, wasn't it? W zero W zero R two O zero. Alright, now I'm gonna write this down. O eight is W zero R two O zero. Disconnect. All right, well, I'm going to say that there, guys, and we're going to wrap this up today. We will be back tomorrow, I guess, carrying on this, seeing if we can finish this off, because uh, I don't want to kind of leave it here as much as I say I need to record a video. But thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, I appreciate the support. 
Um, yeah, I may be close, but I got to go, man. I got stuff to do, things to do. But thanks a lot, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Until next time, see ya.